Uh, matchup I know pretty well. And um, a fun one to watch. Okay. Um, my, like, if I were to just give you a synopsis on the matchup, it's whoever's in the lead can easily abuse it. Peach okay. is so good at uh, holding it by trading, using those strong hitboxes, the stage control, um, and then trying to use edge guards to break open a lead. Fox, with the lasers, Peach is so much slower. Mm -hmm. um, and he has the ability to wall decently himself, full hop back airs very often. Yeah, Fox uh, also has a, a drill is such a huge tool versus definitely, Peach. Yeah. Uh, just allows him to be able to hit Peach when she's on the ground, kind of taking away that float, uh, excuse me, that crouch cancel uh -huh. threat away with the down smash by doing drill into very quick options. Yeah, shine or grab or something, definitely. And um, a lot of the grounded Peaches, and Vic, um, excuse me, Vincessantly is a bit more of a grounded Peach. He likes the grab, he likes the dash attack, that okay. sort of mix up. Um, we might see full hop drill from Archer Dealer as well. Um, it's so easy to do a full hop, and if Peach doesn't read your jump preemptively, she'll be unable to punish it. And then you may be able to come down with a drill to punish their grounded option. And that's what we're looking forward to. Um, most people would say Archer Dealer is the favorite. Okay. Um, at both ranked in Philly. Uh, Archidillo, I think, ranked second. Vincent also in the fifth or something like that. Okay, so two higher people on the PR. Yeah, and um, Archidillo, I would say uh, it's a baby upset. Upset by Bones earlier today. Um, not unheard of, but I don't think he's lost to Bones in a while. Okay, I actually played Bones, not in tournament, but I money matched him at uh, Royal Flush. Yep. And uh, I got destroyed. It was actually crazy. Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah, that's better. Like, you playing Marth against him? Yeah. Too. Yeah, he said he would say um, that's his best matchup for sure. Okay. So that's part of it, but he's also a very strong player. Yeah, yeah. I got hit and I just died. I was like, <laughs> yep. what the heck's going on? Sounds like <laughs> sounds like bones. Uh, and Vincent uh, lost to Stango earlier and had a close call against Vex, which we saw right before we got into top eight. This is the first match. Archidilu very patient. He is willing to play the laser-heavy style and then try to guess when a Peach is coming in by using some um, feedback nares. Yeah, we already see the lasers coming into play. 56% already on and only 15 seconds have passed. Mm -hmm. And you can see r 2 does such a good job commanding the stage in ways that Peach struggles with. He really likes to abuse a character's weaknesses. Near the corner, Peach has a really hard time getting by the back air. We saw the back air. You also see him in the first stock going for a cross-up aerial. Peach doesn't have any options that quick out of shield backwards, except maybe Bear. So he spaces himself a little too far away from Bear, and then puts out his own Bear against um, the shield so that Peach doesn't have the ability to jump out. Yeah, really good drill there just before. And uh, you saw uh, Vincent try and fight out with Parasol, but it wasn't even close to the mark because uh, Fox is just so fast. He's in and out in a flash. Looking for the KO, not going to get the up throw up air, but gets the up air after a reposition. So very, very good stuff there by r 2 d Yeah, it looks like he had the read that Vincent wanted to drift back towards the middle of the stage, and that's probably because r 2 has been abusing him so well when he gets him in the corner. Okay, we get the roll coverage from Vincently. Nice, good re-grab here. Platform tech chase, I like the nair right there. Just, Just a little trying late. to push yep. him off. Okay, yes. Wow. You know, oh my gosh, and drill by the ledge, costing him that stock. I was playing against Vincessant earlier, and he was not too happy with his edge guarding. Um, even though he got it very often, it would take many more tries than it should have, getting like the weak bear so it doesn't set him quite far enough. Wow, very nice. Good response. I like that aggressive response. You have the stock lead right there. After you block that down smash, just get in there, put that pressure on, make your opponent feel as uncomfortable as possible so they don't start to mount a comeback. And the pressure, once again, is on after the shine, the drill back on the stage. Finally, Vincessen breaks the pressure, but r 2 back in control, holding center stage, forcing Vincessen in shield now. Yeah, so often this game, we have seen Vincessen unable to breathe. And then r 2 lets him breathe for just a second and yep. waits out the option to see what he needs to do. And I mean, that's pretty much the story of the first game. Um, the lasers give him the lead at the beginning, and he never lets it go. Um, really clean play. Okay, heading to final destination. Um, of course, Peach has a chain grab that starts around 30% and can go to death or to lead to an edge guard. So that's a big reason Peach players pick this stage. Other than that, though, um, I think it's a pretty strong Fox stage. But here is that chain grab. 
And as far as I could tell, Vincent, uh, pretty good at doing the chain grab. Yep. Peaches, although all you really have to do is run and then grab them again. You don't even <laughs> have to jump cancel. Peaches tend to miss it. Um, there is a kind of a tighter dash back timing. Okay. No problem for Vincent on the first stock. Now he has a full stock lead, though. Yeah, getting that grab in and making the most of it. Wow, he slapped the heck out of him. Wow, while he was on the ground, too. Yeah. Disrespectful. The double. Nice, I like that. Using the jab after the neutral air. Yeah, and we saw Vincent. He did the up air out of shield, anticipating that maybe RTD was going to try to escape with a full hop. Uh, he didn't do that, but it at least sends a message. Oh, that's Man, not yeah, dirty shine right there. It's rough stuff to deal with. Yeah, Peach is so bad off of the ledge. It's really easy to abuse her. And uh, RG Lou's reactions um, are really solid because he always knows what the best options are. <laughs> and then the down air just tipping R2D Lou. And, uh, yeah, it's reminiscent of that uh, drill that we saw in yep. game one. Mm -hmm. Hey, anything you can do, I can do better, right? <laughs> And he's got the lead. I like how he's gradually taking the stage as r 2 d was willing to back off with the lasers. And here we start another chain grab. Not able to finish it this time. Only gets a couple re-grabs. Nice. I like that aggressive dash attack there. Set up a situation for him to get the grab. Not able to get the chain grab and or finish out of it. Yeah, it's been a couple times. It looks like he's trying to move a bit fast out of the grab so he doesn't get the dash back. Um, it might be a sign of nerves. Yeah, and the up air coming out from R2D Lu. Going to uh, even up the stock count here. Now, the percent deficit can be easily worked around as long as you just play smart. Take your time. There's a bit of an edge guarding miss again from Vincent. We'll see how much damage he takes for it. Oof. Very, very good. And the laser's coming through. I like it. I like it. Yeah, not being uh, overly aggressive. It looks like he doesn't think Vincent has a strong response to it. Very often when you are in the center of the stage and Peach is near the end, you can sort of wall around with the back airs, try to bait something with a dash dance. But R2D Lu content just to get the laser damage. Nice, beautiful hit with the turn up. Not able to get the back air, though. So very unfortunate there for Vincent. And that's really, yeah, that's really the R2D Lu classic versus Peach. He goes for the lasers and he puts an air in a spot where it'll keep him safe from a dash attack. Yep. Um, and they will only trade if they go for an air from that far on the stage. So it's pretty safe and it may lead to a kill like we just saw. Okay, is this an air to end it? And... Oh, nope. TI. Jeez. It's again, not able to close out the edge guard. That's really a big part of the story this set. Yeah. Yeah, big time. A lot of the kills, if they were near the ledge, both players were on the stage. And then it was like a launch off with the shine or something. Yep. But we got ourselves a last stock situation here. Yep, and he is just still racking up the damage. Gets the up air. That's going to finish it. Yeah, and uh, R2D Lu, man. Doing work. Yeah, taking that second game. Um, Vincent. Smash GI is usually pretty solid uh, on the up airs. I think that R2D got so deep it made it difficult, but I'm I'm so used to seeing him get out. I know, it was just strange to see him die at that percent. I was a I was already prepared to compliment him for his Smash DI, and then he died. Oof. I do really like down tilt against Peach. Um, when she's in the air, she can't crouch cancel, so you can do it back. Nice, I like this. The laser's coming out. Yeah, there's that, that should be in the up throw up air. And as you said before, the SDI was on point. Not that time. A little subpar DI and yep. subpar SDI coming out. It looks like he's having to work so hard just to get like neutral wins versus r 2 and work his way in against the lasers that he's not entirely focused on his punish game and on his defensive options. Yeah, 100%. Fresh off the up throw presses, man. Yeah, and you can see um, r 2 once again, lasers, lots of full hops. That's the risk you take going for the low nares. He's still alive. Nice. Up tilt, Beautiful yes. stuff. Yeah. Just going to launch him with the up tilt, get the back air in for even more damage. Yeah, and before you know it, Vincent is back at kill percent. Yeah, and he's gone. There it is again. So second stock is out of here. It's time to start fresh and new with the third stock ready to go. Here's the thing, up there, up air uh, really shouldn't work against Peach at those higher percents. If you DI away, you can often air dodge out or even nair Fox before he can up air you. Um, 
So that's a big difference maker in the defensive game here. Oh! Wow, that sucks. Yeah, I bet, <laughs> you, I bet you he was going to shine and he gets hit with a down air and then just side views off the stage. All right, but yeah, look at that. Starting with the laser. I also like that he is staying within the range. It's kind of that long mid-range game where he can apply that pressure with lasers but still be close enough to get an option on a whiff on some on some type of opening because Fox is so fast. Yeah, and like like we were saying, we've seen Vincent um, throughout the course of time go for so many like dash attack grab type things. And Archie Dealer stays just out of the range of those with the lasers and he baits it just like that so he can get some pressure on. A few aerials in a row. Yeah, this, is, this is looking grim for Vince Hessen. Yeah, it seems like R2-D Lu has got the gears turning right now. And he's saying, okay, I think I figured out this matchup. And he will win that set 3-0. Yeah, he may have lost to Bones earlier, but um, I think he expects to make it back to face him once again yep. later on. Yeah, I agree. Yep. And now we're uh, about time to go on.